Alrighty, we are back, and I accidentally went into the construction menu. So we've got a few records to beat. I should have actually gone into the contract area. We'll look at what contracts and records we need to beat. And one thing that'll be easy. If we just get into space, we'll beat all the distance records. <laughs> but I'm not sure if we want to do that or not. Because it wants an altitude record of 11.5, distance record of 11, and us to escape the atmosphere and set a speed record of 750. So, we can do a lot of these at once. We'll leave that there. Grab this. Go back to engines. And we'll get that. And let's see, aerodynamics. Do we have control? Not really. We have these little fins. Not what I'm looking for. But they'll do the job. Now for these I like to combine these so I can get the engines going right away, particularly in the beginning. Where I don't particularly care if like this explodes, or if that explodes, or if that explodes. You can recover these things and get extra money for it, but it's not really necessary a lot of the time, so launch. It just helps out, particularly if you're very short on money. And the more expensive craft is when you start really need to worry about how much you can recover. And so, SAS is on. We take off again. I do like the new effects I added that were recent. I used to have a series on this way back in the day. And it was it used to be a lot more basic than that. So we're going to start going up, and we're going to go off to the side once we're done with this engine, because this engine is going to be the one that gets us moving. And there we go. Now we start. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to go that way now. We're going this way. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that was not my plan. So we got the altitude record now, and we've achieved the speed record. And we'll be reaching... We've reached the new altitude record. We're going to observe the mystery goo because of our altitude, and we're going to keep the data. Man. If we hadn't done a spin, we probably would have actually made it to space. But there's that distance record that we needed. Yeah, with that unexpected spin, we kind of didn't quite reach going into space. Which is unfortunate. We're still climbing, though. What's the altitude that we're supposed to be able to reach? Uh, 40. Yeah, we're not space. We're not pulling into space. No! Uh, crew report. At this altitude, we should get some decent data. Are we going to go over the mountain range? That gives me an option for because we'll be going over a new biome to do another thing with that. Oh, well, maybe not. It's getting very cold. It's upper atmosphere, all right. We're going to keep that data. We would have skimmed space if it wasn't for that freaking thing being kind of dumb. Boof! My God, even in heights bother me so much. Even here, looking down bugs me. In a video game. So we'll speed up. We're probably not going to have to worry too much about re-entry effects, because we didn't actually get into space, so there shouldn't be any. But re-entry effects were added with the release of the game, so you can burn up if you're not careful. Let's trigger the parachute. If we land on top of the mountain, that'll be handy, because I can get an EVA report from the mountaintop. Unless we land on the side, at which point we might die. We might land on a cliff. Oh, that would just not be very good. We're going to have to be careful here, because I'm not sure how high we are. This is altitude above sea level. And uh, I need a 500 feet above the ground. That's where I need to be careful of. Oh, no. 
please land on here and don't slide the heck off the mountain. That was scary. Don't slide off the mountain, don't slide off the mountain. Please don't slide off the mountain. Don't kill Jeb already. Oh boy. Shoot, we're sliding. We are sliding. Ah, uh, we're good. Do I want to risk... If I do another crew report. Cancel. Uh, you're going to EVA. I'm not letting you off this thing. You're doing an EVA report now. Okay, good. We got science. And board. And recover. Yeah. We could have landed that one better. Another 20 science. But now we have 209,000 bucks done. Don't need to worry too much about the, that there. I might have to upgrade this soon. So, all these contracts are now complete. Give me a bunch of money. Let's see what other contracts we've got. Nothing available. So we've got Escape the Atmosphere, set speed record of 1,050, Orbit Kerbin, set altitude record of 70, and set distance record of 100. And we're going to aim for the distance, but let's see if I can get better flight controls. Yes. We're going to be using the stability. We're going to go here. I'm going to swap out this engine with a bigger engine. We're going to swap that out with this purchase. Don't really need any of these things yet, so I'm not going to spend the money on it. Put those on, and we'll put these on for extra stability too. And now we got a lot of Delta V. We should be able to skim space with this sucker now without spinning out. We could have done it before if we hadn't spun. But we spun. Spacebar! SAS! Go! Some people are a lot more efficient at me than me at this stuff. If you want to get, like, really efficient and better at me than this, watch, um, I think it's Kurt J. Mack, his channel. He's like a professional Kerbal Space Program player. Or not Kurt. I'll get his channel off for the next episode. I need you... I can't go sideways now. These things are so stabilizing, I can't actually send this sideways. Brilliant. Spinning. Ooh, there we go. We got it back under control. Whoa. This is hard to control. <laughs> We've set the speed record. And we'll be going into space. Woohoo. Since we're going into space, might as well just speed this up and go up there. Will this actually go the distance, too? Yeah, that'll go the distance. Darn well should. Let's see what kind of, uh... science we get now. Nothing, because we're still in the upper atmosphere. And any moment, there goes the music! I can't go to... nope! Oh, yeah, I can go to settings. And, uh... It's still way down. It's at five percent. I don't want it. Except, I don't want it triggering any copyright strikes or anything. We'll get ten science. That'll give a little bit more. And we're up here, so you might as well do a crew report. And we just 
A little jaunt up. Kick that thing off. Yeah, we did not travel at all. We have re-entry effects. I'm not even sure if we'll have that. And those things really help the stability, but only in one direction. You can't actually choose your... if you want to change the direction of travel or not. We That got a little bit warm. We have passed the engine. Which is kind of funny. Deploy the parachute. I always bring the speed time down to normal when I do that because I've had things just rip right off. And I'm always scared of that, particularly to now that we don't have uh, quick saves or... Well, we've got... We can revert the flight, but that gets kind of annoying if we have to do that a lot. He's down! Yeah, people will probably say I waste a lot of engines, but... Not really overly concerned about that. I don't even have the parachutes to recover them with anyway, unless I just don't stage anything. And well, we've already done the EVA report over the water, so we don't need to worry about that. Thirty-seven science, twenty-five on that flight. There's things you can do really early on to just really send up the uh, science score. But I'm not worrying about that kind of stuff right now. I've got 37. All of these cost 45. And this could be useful aviation for some things. But really, where is that? That would be even better. Hmm. and then we can start mapping places. But I still don't have solar power, which we won't have until electronics. So I can't put a uh, mapping satellite up. I'd have to fly around and do it. Oh well. Uh, contracts, what do we have for that now? We're not ferrying anyone anywhere. Oh, those are kind of crappy all. Yeah, we got enough money, so we need to orbit, set a distance record, and set a speed record. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is these three. I'm not worrying about any of these, because I don't want to do ferrying right now. That's a lot of extra work. Or I could, it'd be hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, right. I'm not going to do these, because I need better engines. Oh, I could do this one. Take a crew report in flight below 17,000 sight near. Yeah, we'll take this one. Oh, yeah. Good for you. We can test this engine on uh, at the launch site, and we can test to uh, ooh. Yeah, but I don't have any controls. Expires five hours fifty four minutes. Duration one year, so we'll take that, and we'll take that. And for like these tests, I'll show you how to do these real easy, real quick. Like the easiest way to do them. Take all that off, and we have a contract to test the Mark 55 Thud liquid fuel engine at launch site. And so we just take that, plaster it right there, in flight over curb and flying. That is a very restricted altitude range. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the jet engine. Oh, cancel. And we're going to launch this for the easy, easy engine test. And... Done. There we go. Test launch. Test done. And that's quite literally it to do that. There we go. And now there's only a minute left, so we'll start working on this thing here. We need to make an aircraft that can orbit. Orbit Kerbin. So that will be interesting.
We have fuel tanks, so we'll use this fuel tank. For some reason, it didn't want to give me the fuel tank. And we'll throw this little engine onto it. And then we'll go here. Give me that. Thank you. I'm going to throw that engine onto there. Put that there. And then these. I don't have... Uh, yes, I do have these side decouplers. Goody. So we'll throw these side decouplers on. Double up in symmetry. Do that. And we'll put these aerodynamics in. On the center one. And one thing that we can do, so you want to save this, we just go into that, we go into sub-assemblies, you grab the sub-assembly, let's say we take this entire rocket, drop it into there, we'll call this a basic booster. Our starting booster, we save this, I can actually go back, let's do this, and we'll throw this out. Now my rocket's gone, or is it? Go back to sub-assemblies, grab that, and poof. Just in time for the episode timer. So at the beginning of the next episode, we're going to try to orbit. Provided I haven't made a spacecraft that I can't launch, which I have managed to do because it's too heavy. That'll be easy to solve. We will be back shortly.